Hi, welcome to another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. Today I'm going to try to show you how to make some clouds and how to make some sun rays. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a picture to go along with it. So uh, I'll get started here. First thing I want to do is I'm going to make a mountain of some sort. Okay, something like this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is round out the ed not the edges, but the slopes a little bit. And I want to round out this guy right here. And we'll just make it some random color for now. Yeah, that's probably good. Next thing I can do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a little beach to go along with everything. And that'll be a light color. And we'll make that go behind the mountain. We'll get rid of uh, the stroke by pressing shift and clicking on the X here. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to make the ocean or the sea, whatever you want to call it. Just throw that back there. Move it down kind of like this. Do an object to path on that just in case. Now, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Control D. I'm going to make that a darker color. And I'm going to move that to the back by pressing End. And I'm going to <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, flip that horizontally here so that we have something looking a little bit different. Eh, I don't know where I want to put that yet. Uh, probably right here. And I'm gonna make a little bit of a piece of land coming out here. I'm gonna make that the same color as a mountain. And uh, move that over top of the water and get rid of the stroke here again by pressing shift and clicking on this X and just kinda round this a little bit so it doesn't look so straight okay now I will start by uh, making our Sun so I press control shift click on that circle and then drag I'm gonna make that about 80 pixels by 80 pixels and I'm just gonna I'm using the Ubuntu color set here at the bottom so uh, I'm gonna set that to this kinda of darker yellow color and uh, just for the heck of it I'm gonna go into here <clears throat> and uh, I think what I want is uh, where's that guy Go to filters, blurs, and find noisy blur. And there's our sun. Um, let me pull up the grid here. And actually, I'm going to undo that that filter for now because what I need to do is make those rays, and I need to know where that center point is. Okay. So what I can do is get the Bezier tool again and just make a triangle. And uh, I think that's almost all right. I need to pull this guy in just a little bit to make it symmetrical with the center of the circle there. And I'm going to make that the this, this same yellow color. Going to get rid of the stroke. And what I want to do is use a linear gradient on that and just make it go from that yellow color to complete white. So. Um, I'm going to move this around, kind of like that. Move it in just a little bit. And now what I can do is I'm going to click on this twice. And at this uh, crosshair here, which shows the uh, center rotation, I'm going to move that to the center of that circle. And what that's going to allow me to do is when I do a Control D, uh, that'll duplicate this. I can uh, click on this kind of bent arrow here and if I hold control that'll snap that guy about 10 degrees from the previous sun ray 
Um, if you go into, I believe it's Inkscape Preferences, um, it's under, under Steps, you can see here, that's what this rotation snaps every 10 degrees is. That's what I have it set to. So um, I'm going to X out of there. If, if, you'd, if you'd want to set that to something different, that's fine. It really doesn't matter, but I want it 10 degrees. So what we can keep doing is duplicating this, pressing Control, and rotating this out until we have pretty much like a semicircle of these. So let's keep on going. So just take a minute. There's other ways that you can do this. I've seen it done before where you can go in and use the clone tool, but I'm just not a big fan of the clone tool. It seems kind of awkward to use, but maybe that's just because I'm not good at this. I don't know. But anyways, um, this is starting to come together here. duplicating Oop. and that that's good so temporarily what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna group these together by doing a control G and uh, actually before I do that I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna click on my son again and just run that um, noisy blur filter now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and collect all these guys, and I don't think I just got all of them here. Yeah, there we go. Control G. I'm going to move that down. Well, it's going to have to go behind my little lotion or bay or whatever. So move that to the back by pressing end. And so we got that going on. I'm, next, I'm going to make the sky, and I want to. I want to make that kind of like a sunset because that's what this kind of looks like. Move this to the back and uh, I'm going to select the color, do a linear gradient on this and let's see, wow, duplicate that, edit it and <clears throat> what we can do is some sort of dark purple color That'll be on the one end of that linear gradient, and on the other end, we'll want to crank up the alpha value. And uh, that's perfect. An, an orange color, something like that. Maybe not quite so orange, so that we can see our sun. And let's just move it like this, and something like that. It might be a little bit too purple up there. That's what I'm thinking. I think that's a little bit too purple. There we go. So we got that. I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to get rid of the grid right now. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to go and uh, I actually got to ungroup this because I didn't think this through. I want to perform a, <clears throat> a union on this. Well, that's no good. And that's because of that blur on that sun. So I'm going to select the sun if I can here. There we go. And I'm going to remove filters from that. And now I'm going to go ahead and select all these guys. I, let's see. I. Hopefully I'm not... Okay, yeah. I didn't want to select that little piece of land right here. Um, now go ahead and do a union on this. I must have missed this guy too. So, union on that. And I must have missed these guys over here. And union on... I must not have gotten... Oh, because I got to select this too. Union. There we go. Going to duplicate that. I'm going to rotate that vertically. And I'm going to bring that down. 
right about there. And what that's going to allow me to do is I'm going to select my ocean if I can and move that to the back. I want to duplicate that ocean and I want this piece, the bottom piece of that sun. And I'm going to run a intersection on that. Bring that kind of to the front but behind all this stuff. And uh, I'm going to kind of fade that out a little bit. Actually I need a linear gradient for that. And let's just move that so that it's straight. And move this up just a little bit. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to go back here again and I'm going to again do that. Actually what I want is a circular gradient here, or radial gradient. We can do the same thing. Move this guy down here, but I want this to go up a little bit more. And uh, what I forgot is that I actually want to duplicate this. And I want to edit this and I want to add one more point here where this is at full gamma value so that I can move out where that full color value is at before it starts fading out. Just Just enough so that that sun is completely colored. So now what we can do, it's starting to look like something now. I can get rid of this. Now what I can do is start making our clouds, which, are, which will be real simple. All I do is uh, I just take a circle and do a little bit of that run an object to path on it because what I want to do now is to duplicate that and you know make it make it different sizes we'll just make a bunch of little bubbles everywhere until we have something that starts looking good and this is still kind of uh, transparent from working with that sun and the sun rays but that's fine that'll be taken care of here in a minute so we'll just collect all these guys up here and perform a union on that and uh, what I want is a gray color kind of a light gray color and I want to run a linear gra gradient on that and from the very top to the very, well not quite the very bottom but be something kind of like this. And I'll move that down. Actually I want to bring this guy down just a little bit so we can see if there's actually something there. And we can kind of see through the clouds a little bit can just duplicate this as much as you want. Kind of have stuff around the clouds. Move some clouds behind. Maybe flip them so that they don't all look the same. Get another one here. Move that back. That looks good. I think that looks good. Uh, one thing I want to do here is I want to kind of slope this line here for the coast. Maybe move that down just a little bit. That's that's looking a little bit better. Um, now one thing that I did, and this is just to make this look a little bit more interesting, is uh, from a couple of different projects I had, I had a palm tree and I had a plane, so what I was just going to do is just move that little plane into here and want to resize it so it looks pretty small. 
and depending on how you feel you can move it behind the the sun rays or uh, in front of it I might move it behind that guy there and uh, I'm going to take this palm tree here move that to the front and we'll want to size that down pretty good by just pressing control shift and we can do you know a bunch of duplications of this just have a big cluster of trees happy little trees like Ross would say you just do something like that really doesn't matter it's just make it look a little bit more interesting but um, flip one of these guys around and that's about it this is how you can make uh, sun rays and and some simple little clouds and make something that looks kinda nice I mean there could be a lot more detail and stuff but the main point of this was just to show you how to do the sun rays and the clouds um, this is bitewiser.com come visit us we we got new stuff uh, usually have posts uh, a few times a week so uh, see you next time